As we look back on this past calendar year, finishing up three and a half years of SpyMovieNavigator.com and our podcast show, Cracking the Code of Spy Movies, along with our YouTube channel, we realize how blessed we have been. Has it really been three and a half years? Wow, time flies. Time flies (laughs) when you're having fun. Temp is future. All right. This is Dan. And Tom. Of SpyMovieNavigator.com and our show, Cracking the Code of Spy Movies. We're going to take a look back on 2022 and see all the fun stuff that happened there and kind of guide you to a few podcast episodes and so on that you should take a look at. And our website, SpyMovieNavigator.com. Dot com. All right, it's been so much fun to be an intricate part of the James Bond community and to expand our reach into Mission Impossible, Kingsman, a ton of Alfred Hitchcock spy movies, classic spy movies, and new releases. We've been busy, and we thank all of you for keeping us busy because you listen to us, and we listen to your suggestions as well. We thank it is you. so great that you guys are there and also that you give us feedback. Yes. So that's good. Thank you. Yeah. Our listenership this past year in 2022 has grown 34%. So a big thank you. Nice. Yeah. A big thank you for all who subscribe to our show and listen. We've had a lot of fun in 2022 for sure. We launched a new version of our website, spymovienavigator.com, which now is graphically very cool and offers a large database of spy movie facts and trivia, which you can find on our website by clicking Spy MDB, our spy movie database. And a lot of the content there is based, with permission, on Stephen J. Rubin's book, The James Bond Movie Encyclopedia. (laughs) Ha ha, pretty cool. You can also listen to all of our podcast episodes on our website now, while perusing the website at the same time. We also have two different trivia challenges that you can take for free on our website, a James Bond trivia game and a spy movie trivia game as well. Lots of fun and free. Now, Dan, you're saying trivia. Besides what we have on the website, we've launched a monthly James Bond movie trivia game live on our Facebook page. We hold this usually the first Saturday of every month, and it includes 25 trivia questions from James Bond movies and or questions from specific podcasts that we have out. So it's a lot of fun, and apparently our players think it's fun too because here are a few of the quotes that we've got from some of the players here. One from Eric S. He's won twice the trivia game. About the game, he says, It was incredibly fun. I can't wait to do more. Another listener, Lorenzo G, says, this is amazing fun. We had Pietro come in with, good quiz, varied set of questions ranging from easy to how am I supposed to know that? (laughs) It's got to be something for everyone. So thank you, Pietro. That's definitely what we're going for. We expect some of them to be a little bit easier for the newer players. And then we're going to have some hard ones in here as well. And sometimes we, we put one in that's hard, that we think is hard, that everybody gets. It's like, whoa, we're blown away by the knowledge in this community. Yeah, it's been so fun. So we really appreciate the, yeah, we appreciate the feedback. We appreciate you guys joining us for the quizzes and we'll continue to do them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Morgan Lisney, he's been on all of them, I think. And he said, another awesome event. Well done. All right. Our next event is January 14th, 2023. So that's the next one. So you can sign up for it on our Facebook page. It's been a great, fun time for everybody. It takes about 30 minutes. It's just terrific fun. And we've had tremendous feedback. And we have more and more participants each time. So tell your friends. All levels are welcome here because it's really a fun event, not a big competition kind of thing. You'll enjoy it too. So follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash navigator. And you'll be alerted to many things, including cool posts, trivia info, new podcast episodes and videos, and a lot more. And it's a place to meet and discuss and interact with other spy movie fans, really, literally, from all over the world. We have a private group on Facebook that has 4,200 members, and our regular Facebook page has 17,000 followers. So a lot of great spy movie fans all over the world, dozens of countries represented. So join that private group as well. That's a lot of fun. A lot of people putting up cool stuff in there. 
Let's talk about podcast episodes from our show, Cracking the Code of Spy Movies, that have happened in 2022. First of all, all of our decoding session episodes for spy movies are designed to enhance your viewing experience of each movie. Whether you've seen the movie already and will watch it again, or you will watch it for the first time, or you want extra knowledge about the movie that we can highlight. We dig deep into the scenes, the gadgets, the casting, the locations, and a lot more. And we look for connections and influences on and from other spy movies. It's all fun stuff. And we know you're going to discover something new in every episode. And we do interviews. That's absolutely... That's- yeah, that's that's absolutely the goal of these things is not just us spouting information. Hopefully it should enhance your viewing experience. We try not to give away the end of the movies, but we'll walk you along the way and give you thoughts about different scenes that you're looking at. Yeah. So I, I find it fascinating to do. All right. And we do interviews, spy movie news, and a lot more. Also, we were rated... This is pretty cool. 2022 was a good year. We were rated in the top 10 best spy and espionage podcasts by two different services. Top 10 in the world. So we're pretty thrilled about that. Yeah, that that, that really is nice. It uh, is. Good to see. Yeah. In addition, Lipson, our hosting platform, just named Cracking the Code of Spy Movies one of 2022's rockin' Lipson podcasts. So exciting. I mean, that's pretty cool, too. And they that is, have that tons is really cool. of podcasts that they do. They're the largest podcast hoster in the world, I think. So that's pretty that's Well, they're pretty definitely, nice the, they've been around the longest, that's for sure. So yeah. that's great to see. Yeah. So we're pleased to be recognized for trying to do something good in the spy movie community. Thank you all. We love it. We're humbled that our show has been listened to in over 156 countries around the world so far. Wow. That, just every time we look at those numbers, I, it just blows me away. <laughs> I know. We are just so thankful to spy movie fans around the globe for making us part of your fun. Thank you. Yes, thank, thank you so much. Yeah. You know, and, and Dan, it's not just us. We've enjoyed so far working with our UK partner, Vicki Hodges. She's a delight to work with yeah. and have on the show, and she knows her stuff. Yeah. So it's, it's phenomenal to, to have her there. Yeah, yeah. We've we've also had some other co-hosts, some people we've brought back on to help us with some of the episodes, and one of those is Mike Reyes from CinemaBlend.com. Yeah, he's fun. he joined us for <laughs> he's he's a riot, yeah, and he, he joined us for the for the Tomorrow Never Dies pre-title episode discussion we had. Yeah, and as you say, he's fun, and we look forward to having him back for more as well. Yeah, yeah, he's a terrific fun guy. All right. All right, overall, really, some of the highest highlights that Tom and I have had this past year in 2022, we're talking to a couple of guys that everyone is pretty familiar with. Robert Davi, of course. He is Fran Sanchez from License to Kill. And Stephen Saltzman. What a blast that guy is. Harry Saltzman's son, of course, who co-produced the James Bond movies with Albert Cubby Broccoli. So looking at the Robert Davi interview, I mean, he he was so fun. He actually gave us a little intro, front-end intro for our podcast show, saying, hey, this is Robert Davi. So, I mean, that's how cool this guy is. Dan, don't tell him what what he said. Play it. Yeah. Right. There you go. Here you go. Here. Robert, go ahead. Bond. James Bond. Hi, this is Robert Davi, and you're listening to Cracking the Code of Spy Movies. He had so many backstories and behind-the-scenes insights into License to Kill that are just fascinating. And we talk about some of his other movies, Die Hard, The Goonies, The Dukes, which he wrote, produced, and starred in, and more. He was so generous and kind and so much of a regular guy to talk with. Don't you think, Tom? I mean, it was like talking to an old friend. It was fantastic. I mean, like you said, it was just such a casual conversation. It was it was wonderful. Yeah. And and the fact that he gave us an hour and a half of his time. Yeah. I mean, that was that was just so nice. It was. Yeah. We we're very impressed with Robert Davi. So take a listen and see. I mean, hear how his family may have helped discover America. 
<laughs> that was cool. <laughs> yeah. That's one of the, one of those fun facts you find out when you're talking to somebody that you'd never heard before. So that was really neat. Yeah. The second highlight, of course, we mentioned Stephen Saltzman. We've had Stephen on a couple of times in 2022. What an honor that was. He is a terrific guy. Stephen is, of course, the son of Harry Saltzman, and co who was the co-producer of the first nine James Bond Ian production movies, along with Albert Cubby Broccoli, like we said. We first met Stephen when he messaged us about our Cracking the Code of Spy Movies podcast episodes on the Ipcris file and Funeral in Berlin. Now, you'll recall. Now, now actually, before you go on with that, Dan, because yeah. one of the things that was cool about that was when he messaged you, 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 you messaged me and you were like, is this real? <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I didn't believe, I couldn't believe he was, he had listened to our podcast and secondly, took some time to message us. And so, because the message was pretty cool and you'll see why I'm thinking, what? So anyway, he, he's, he, he's Harry Salsman's son. So you'll remember Harry Salsman when he was doing all the James Bond movies, branched out on his own and produced the first three Harry Palmer movies starring Michael Caine, The Ipcris File, Funeral in Berlin, and Billion Dollar Brain. So Stephen had listened to our Ipcris File and Funeral in Berlin episodes, and he sent this message to us, which basically said, my father would be proud of what you guys are doing. Now, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> now, I'm thinking, what? <laughs> Is this really Steven? So I'm looking at him. I have his email address. I'm thinking, Arr. so I know this guy who knows, who I know knows Steven. And I, I message him and I say, hey, I got this thing from Steven. You think this is really Steven? And here's his email address. He's used. He said, no, oh, no, that's Steven. Yeah, that's his email. Yeah. Uh, that was him. It's like, man. Anyway, Stephen and I talk, end up talking on the phone, and we've been in touch with him ever since. And so that was one of the most touching messages we've ever got. And, when, and I told him on the phone that was one of the most meaningful messages we could have ever received to, for, for, for him to say that about what his dad would think because his dad was pretty cool in the Bond world. And really got the whole well, thing not started. just the Bond world, the Bond world and the Palmer world. Yeah, the Harry Palmer and, stuff. You know, He's we're not just we're not just James Bond. So it's nice to get that perspective that his dad would like what we're doing, and we're doing both. Yeah, and we're doing both sides here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so meanwhile, he was an executive producer of the Ipcris File TV series that premiered cool. in the UK in the spring of 2022 on ITV, yeah. and it was a huge hit, starring Joe Cole and other greats. Yeah. And as a result, Spy Movie Navigator and our show Cracking the Code of Spy Movies, we were invited to the virtual press briefing on the Ipcris File TV series. And in the brief, in the video briefing were the director, the writer, and many of the key actors. And Dan and I were, what, we were two of about 70 people in the world in attendance yeah, on this thing. Uh, that was cool so that? cool to be invited, <laughs> number one, and cool to be listening to and watching Joe Cole and Lucy Boynton and all these others who were there, including the director and director and writer. Very, very nice. And we were thrilled. Okay, so then after we did that, then we had an interview with Steven Saltzman yes. about the TV series, The Ipcris File. And so that, that was really enlightening, understanding how they did things. Yes. Um, especially he talked about the connections with the Eon folks. Yes. And then we did a first reactions episode on the series. Yes. And the first Fun. reactions is just a uh, no spoiler. Here's, you know, we just saw it. What did we think? Yeah, um, yeah. Is it worth your time watching? And we thought it was. Yeah. Now, Ian Jacklin, who took a listen, said to us, this was a brilliant podcast featuring Stephen Saltzman, a producer who was so proud of his new TV series, The Ipcris File. Harry Saltzman would have been so proud of his son and daughter. Yeah, that was a nice and little also, connection there, right? A nice yeah, little it was, it was, it comeback. Brought it back around. Right, brings yeah, everything absolutely. full circle because I think his dad would be proud because that was a dang good series. All right, and then the Dayton dossier reached out to us. Now, remember, Len Dayton wrote The Ipcris File and the other Harry Palmer books. Yes. And the Dayton dossier said to us, interesting episode with fascinating snippets, particularly the importance of the backstory 
in expanding Harry's story arc and the fact that it was filmed in order and how that impacted the actor's performance. Yeah. So again, somebody who's paying attention to what we talked with Steven about and how they found it insightful. So that's, yeah, it's yeah, great to hear. Very cool. We and really we, appreciate we that too. I mean, that was really cool. Got yeah. This, both from Ian and the Dayton dossier. That was really nice to get. Yeah. You could find the Dayton dossier on Twitter and Facebook and all over the place too. A very cool organization. And of course, <laughs> Len Dayton fans and all of his works. All right, this fall, we wanted to invite Stephen Saltzman back again to discuss James Bond this time, especially in light of the 60th anniversary of Dr. No. Now, Stephen was a child when Ian Productions was filming the first nine James Bond movies, and Stephen often got to go on the shooting locations with his dad. So... We wanted him now that's to... that's a normal kid's life, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you should hear this episode because he has fascinating stories. So oh, we wanted just, him he to just keep share. Going and he's got some great stuff in there. Yeah, he's got this unique view of the world through James Bond here that really, literally, no one else in the world has. One of a kind perspective on the making of James Bond movies from Doctor No through the Man with the Golden Gun. This was one of our most fun interviews, and Stephen was just a joy again to speak with. He shares some future plans as well in that episode, so check it out. It aired December 13th, 2022. Definitely take a listen. Wallace did take a listen, and he said, quote, I enjoyed his take on the Bond family, and how even today they're still in touch. Good stuff. That was from Wallace. Nice. We also did a quick episode on the impact of Dr. No on the rest of the James Bond franchise, which was a fun one, too. That came out in August, August 2nd, 2022. And Ian Douglas said, hey, great stuff. Just listen to it. Nice. Now, I like that episode a lot because none of the rest of Bond, Born, Mission Impossible, Kingsman, would have likely happened if Dr. No was a flop. That's probably true. Because, because Bond set the stage for those other movies, and a lot of them owe a lot of what they've done to the Bond franchise. Now, would they eventually something have come out? Maybe, but probably not as we know them. And we talk about all of that mm-hmm. in that episode. That was a fun one to do, but it's all, it's all true. Dr. No really set the stage for so much worldwide that still is happening today, 60 years later. Wow. All right. We've had the pleasure also to discover some classic spy movie gems and bring them to light with special podcast episodes for each of them. Some of our favorites. Well, most of these were gems. (laughs) Some of our favorites and some of our listener favorites are The Secret Invasion, a movie that came out in 1964. We released that episode on November 8th, 2022. And The Adventures of Tartu. A 1943 movie. We released that one October 4th, 2022. And that was was definitely one of those hidden gems. I'd never heard of that one. And somebody brought it to our attention. And I was like, whoa, that was good. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Then we did some spoofs. And we did one on number one of the Secret Service from 1977. Brilliant movie. We released that that episode on December 6th, 2022. But Dan and I disagree whether it's a good movie or not. It's Take been, a listen to the episode, figure out if you want to spend your time watching this movie. It's been a popular the episode. movie for free, yeah. but it's, it's worth what you pay for it. it no, no, it's been a popular <laughs> episode, and I think you'll you'll find the movie interesting, but... Take a listen. The episode first. was probably better than the movie, Dan. Yeah. The episode's <laughs> definitely better than the movie because you know that's what we do. <laughs> All right, we also so we're going to do yeah, and, and we're going to do more of these comedy movies in here as we go forward because some of these have been popular, yeah. and uh, there's a few that we really want to highlight. Yeah, we like to laugh, <laughs> don't we all? All right, and we did a lot of Hitchcock spy movies, a lot of stuff that actually we did in the Hitchcock world, like. The Man Who Knew Too Much, we did both the 1934 and the 1956 versions with Bill Koenig of The Spy Command. And then we did The Lady Vanishes. Yeah, that was with Margaret Lockwood, uh, Michael Redgrave. Yeah. And Mae Whitty was in there, too. Yeah, really a terrific, fun movie. We did Sabotage. That's a great one you got to see because we know why Sabotage is good. Oscar Homolka is in it. 
great stuff. <laughs> and Anything he's in is going to be a good movie. And one of the best Hitchcock movies ever made, regardless, spy movie or whatever, Notorious. Oh, man. Notorious. Fabulous movie. Cary Grant and Ingrid Bergman. Man, fantastic stuff. These Hitchcock movies and some of these other classic spy movies, we're going to continue to look into these movies in 2023. The next big tentpole spy movie to come out isn't until July 14th, which is Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning yeah. Part 1. <laughs> so there's not a, And there's not a lot in the theatrical pipeline before then, so it's going to give us a chance to focus more on some of these classics and some of the funnier movies. Um, yeah, in the spy which we love. World. It's fun. It is fun. Anyway, the Hitchcock area, again, we interviewed Tony Lee Morrell. He's an author of about four Hitchcock books. And we interviewed him twice, once covering Hitchcock's great spy movie, Notorious. That was another episode in addition to our Notorious decoding episode on the movie itself. And once covering Alfred Hitchcock's spy movie, Techniques. That was a very fun episode with Tony Lee Morrell. Yeah, because that one was talking about how Hitchcock made his movies. Yeah. And we could see how those techniques made it into the Hitchcock movies and also talked a little bit about how those techniques were used in post-Hitchcock movies by yeah. other, other directors. directors and stuff. Yeah. You can find his books on Amazon for sure. What a pleasure it was talking to Tony. And we also yeah. If you're a Hitchcock fan, if you're a Hitchcock fan, I would definitely listen to that episode, those episodes, and and take a look at those books. Yeah, check out his books. We also found a thesis done on Alfred Hitchcock's spy movies from an historical perspective. It was by a now, Dan. This was one. This was one that you sent this to me, and I'm like. We're going to do an episode on a thesis? Yeah, I know. This one was fun. I was poking around, and I found this. And I thought, wow. So I read it. And it was kind of fascinating. I'm thinking, hmm, Alfred Hitchcock spy movies from an historical perspective. So it was by this Kim Putlin, formerly Kim Humphreys. So we tracked her down through the university because it was a fascinating treatment. And we had never seen this done before. She has a tremendous... But she was also surprised that we reached out to her because she just wrote this as a thesis. Yeah. She wasn't expecting a couple of jamokes like us who do a spy <laughs> podcast, spy yeah. movie podcast, yeah. to say, hey, let's talk about this. Yeah, the university was excited too. So she's got a tremendous background of Hitchcock spy movies and her unique perspective again on them was enlightening. It was deep and it was refreshing. So definitely check that one out. That was a really another great highlight of 2022 because it was so different. So now we did other interviews as well, Dan, throughout the year. And we started the year in 2022 with our interview of Bridget Millar. Yeah. Now she, yeah, she played Dr. Vogel and Spectre and No Time to Die. And we found out about how they filmed the Spectre meeting in Rome and that Spectre mass killing scene that happens in she No Time terrific. to Die. Yeah. And it was, she, she, she was great at explaining how the stuff worked, and she was great to talk to. Right. And we also talked about some of her other movie roles, including Emmeline Vance in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Yeah, yeah. It was she a fun was interview. Fun to talk to, and just a pleasant, pleasant lady. Wonderful. It was great a great actor. way to start out 2022. It was. She was terrific. And then we had a couple of other opportunities that were just terrific. As you recall, All the Old Knives was a new spy movie released in the spring of 2022, starring Chris Pine and Tandaway Newton. We really enjoyed this movie, and we were asked by the movie team to interview the director and the screenwriter for this movie. This was great fun, and we talked with the director, Janis Metz, and the screenwriter, Olin Steinhauer, who is also the author of the novel, the same name so that was pretty cool that was a lot of fun check that one out and we really like this movie because it's thought provoking it's not a high action movie mm -hmm. and you've got to pay attention you do to understand pay attention to what perspective things are coming at you on we talk about this with with these guys during the interview yeah so check this episode out it came out april 4th 2022 and then watch the movie if you haven't yet it's a terrific spy movie really it's one of the better spy movies that came out in 2022 and it doesn't get enough attention it was really a good movie check it out all right 
And then we had a lively chat with another unique guy, the guy who made the turbans for the James Bond movie, Octopussy. Oh, Del Singh, what a great <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah. We tracked him down, and Del Singh was a thrill to talk to. He talked about his experiences on the set, his meeting Roger Moore and Kabir Tafetti, who played Gabinda, and more. What a fun listen. Check that one out, too. It came out June 7, 2022. <laughs> Del Singh is fun. You will. Now, that was that was another one of those. Love it. Okay. Who would have ever thought that, you know, you'd be talking to the guy who did the, the turbans yeah. in that movie? <laughs> I love that kind of drill <laughs> this, down this detail. This is such a fun job. <laughs> yeah. This is such a fun job. You know, who would think of that? All right. Okay, then in addition to these interviews, we also did something that we call quick fire releases where we give you a quick no spoiler impression of a brand new spy movie. Yeah. So we want to kind of give you a, is it worth your time to go see this one or to watch this one when it comes out? But we don't want to give away the movie. So it's more of a, does this make sense? Is this, is this worth it? So in 2022, the quick fires we did, the 355, we did Black Light. Yeah. We did all the old knives. We did Operation Mincemeat, Codename Banshee, yeah. The Gray Man, Carter, wow. and Rogue Agent. And my guess is you, the listener, if you haven't listened to those episodes, may not have heard of some of those uh, some of those movies. Yeah. So take a listen to the episode. We don't give it away as to what the what happens in the plot, but we tell you whether it's worth your time. And some of those definitely are worth your time to see if you're a spy movie fan. Yeah, and it will enhance your viewing. There's no question, your viewing experience. Great stuff. It was fun doing the quick fires because people have enjoyed listening to them. All right, we also released eight pre-title sequence decoded episodes. We tear apart the pre-title sequence of a spy movie and look for hidden connections, things that we could miss in a quick viewing, and other nuances, and to completely cover the pre-title sequence in a way no one else has done. They are among the most popular episodes year after year that we've done, and we did eight in this one. Shane M. sent us this feedback on the pre-title sequence episodes. that He He said, great stuff, guys. I binged so many episodes today of your podcast. Love the decoding the pre-title episodes. Thank you, Shane. We appreciate that. That's fun to hear from you. It's kind of hard to believe that we can spend an hour talking about a three-minute piece of film. <laughs> That's the fun part. That's the fascinating part. But so much... Although No Time to Die, it was 20-something minutes. Yeah, but so much is put into the pre-title sequences that they're almost a mini-movie. And sometimes they're connected with the rest of the theme and mission of the movie, and sometimes they are not. But they're all... A lot of fun and so meticulously done. And there are so many elements in these pre-title sequences that you could easily miss watching it just once through the movie. So we go in all the details and they're a lot of fun. All right. We also released our spy movie news, which comes out at the end of every month. Yeah. We compile the data on what's happening with spy movies and spy series for that month. And we may be telling you about something that's going to be happening in two years, but if it's news about spy movies, we let you know about it. We put this together. It takes us hours to do it and create about a 15-minute package for you. So you don't have to do that amount of research. Let yeah. us do that for you. But in 15 minutes, you can find out what's going on and maybe get excited about, hey, so-and-so is doing, you know, this actor or actress is doing a, a spy movie and it sounds intriguing. I want to stay on top of it and we'll keep you up to date as we get the information mm -hmm. uh, going through. So it allows you to be in the know. Yeah. And these, these episodes also have been really popular for us because they're very informative. And sometimes I do a little <laughs> bit of a rant at the end of them. Uh, and yeah, See if you I agree you with him. <laughs> See if you agree with Tom. Check him out. <laughs> yeah, let, let me know, too. You know, give us the feedback. If I give an opinion and you don't agree with me, don't say, Tom, you so-and-so. Just say, hey, Tom, I disagree with you, and here's why. Or if you agree yeah, you with me, say, say so -and -so. Hey. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't say that. Yeah. Keep, keep, it, keep, it, keep it cordial, but yeah. uh, I have no problem we love if you feedback. don't agree with it. We love feedback. Yes. Uh, you can give us feedback directly through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff as well. All right, 2023 is now upon us. It's here. And we intend to continue to fund. 
We have heard from so many listeners and Facebook group members this past year, and that has been a thrill for us to hear from you. And we're developing great relationships with some of the key people out there in our community. We love that. We'd like to give a shout out, especially to some of our very active members in our social media groups and in our James Bond trivia games. So a big shout out to Morgan Lisney, Eric Seabury, and Pietro Rossi. These three guys are very active, a joy to hear from, and interact with us and with our groups on a regular basis. And they represent Canada, the U.S., and the U.K. That's pretty cool. And also... So when we talk about a worldwide community of spy movie fans, we really have that. Yeah, 156 countries. And Ian Jacqueline, he also has contributed a lot to our groups with posts and direct feedback to us as well. Thank you all. There's a lot more, and we'll give you shout-outs again in other podcast episodes as well. For 2023, we would love for you to subscribe to our top 10 podcast show, Cracking the Code of Spy Movies. And we are wherever you listen to podcasts. Apple, Google, Overcast, Spotify, Podcast Addict, Podbean, Audible, Ghana. We are available virtually everywhere. Also, follow us on Facebook. We have one of the largest followings for spy movies anywhere with over 17,000 followers and a private group, the worldwide community of spy movie fans with over 4,200 members. So join, it's free. We also are on Instagram and Twitter as well. You can also go to our website, spymovienavigator.com and join our email group where we will send a monthly update out with what we're doing next, other news and more. And our YouTube channel is getting more and more popular as well. We have some of our podcasts up there as visual podcasts, and we have original videos we're producing, like Bond on Women and Is James Bond Likeable? based on Fleming's statement that he did not write Bond to be a likable guy. And tons more. That video proves that he's not likable sometimes. (laughs) Yeah, check that out. They're all terrific ones. All right, check out our video interview with gun expert Tom Whiteman, who shows us a Walter PPK talks about its history, and more. All that's on our YouTube channel. That is one of our, our most viewed episodes. We also have on yeah, that location. that one gets a lot of hits. Yeah, that one's terrific. I think it just got viewed 4,000 times in the last three weeks or so. All right, we also have on location videos up there and where Tom and I have visited spy movie filming locations. Those are we got to get to more of those, Dan. We do. <laughs> we do this year. All fun. Absolutely. If you have any ideas for us, email them at info at spymovienavigator.com. And if we use your idea, we'll give you a shout out as well. If you give us feedback about an episode you like, we may use that in social media posts and give you a shout out too. Now, Dan, there's another way that these listeners can interact with us. Yes. They can leave us a voicemail. So if you don't want to type out your response or whatever, or you want to kind of like, just talk about something. You can go to our website, spymovienavigator.com. There's a button on it that says, leave us a voicemail, record us a voicemail. It's great to hear your comments. Again, we can play those in an episode. If you want us to, you can tell us, don't play this if you want. But if you want to give us feedback and don't want to have to type it out, it's really easy to do. Just click on, leave us a voicemail. Yeah, that's a terrific option. I'm glad you brought that up. It's fun. And we love to include your audio in our podcast episodes as well. Thanks for listening and for being with us this past three and a half years already. Yikes, we appreciate it. Thanks for listening and for being with us this year. We really do appreciate it. Yes, we do. There's lots more to come. And as Robert Dobby says, stay tuned. <laughs>